Well, I said for a few Saturdays I'd say something about what it means to live the Christian life. Uh, the Queen, the Royal Family have been in the news over the last 24 hours because uh, Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, has died. Uh, in one of his books, Vaughan Roberts uh, tells of how when the England football team won the World Cup in 1966, uh, Bobby Moore, the England captain, had to go up and receive the trophy from the Queen. Uh, apparently, uh, later he described how terrified he was because she was wearing white gloves and uh, his hand was covered in mud. And so if you watch the footage, he says, uh, you see Bobby Moore uh, wiping his hands on his shorts, trying to, to get his hand clean before he gets to her. God is clean. He is morally pure. Uh, we are dirty and we can't make ourselves clean for him. Uh, one day we will meet him and uh, we will see his purity. We will know it and we are unclean. And that's why we need the Lord Jesus Christ. Only he can make us right with God. Uh, that's why, uh, as I said last Saturday morning, we need to rest in the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, resting um, in what Jesus has done means that God thinks of the perfect life of Jesus as if it were ours. Uh, when we become Christians, uh, we don't suddenly become a perfectly clean people. Uh, rather, we're considered clean, we're considered righteous uh, because uh, God sees us in Christ. Uh, but that doesn't mean our uncleanness, our sin doesn't matter. Uh, the Lord Jesus Christ preached repentance and that means he calls his people to turn away from everything that is sinful and from everything that is unclean. Uh, the Bible says this, uh, 1 John 2 verse 3, Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. If we say we're Christians, uh, that we know Jesus, and that we are friends with God, but we defy his commands, uh, then John says, the truth is not in us. Uh, let me read you some words uh, written in the 17th century by John Owen. Uh, he wrote this, let us examine our peace. And if we find that we have a peace that is able to hold its ground and station, even when we harbour an abiding sin, let us not trust that peace anymore. Uh, he says, if there's some sin that we're holding on to, uh, that we're continuing in, but we're peaceful uh, and we think all is well between us and God, well, says John Owen, uh, that's not a peace that we should trust. We are to rest in Christ. We're to trust in him. Uh, that's what it means to be a Christian. We don't earn our salvation, but Christ calls us to turn from all our sins.